Okay, so in this tutorial I'm going to show you how to erase out and clone out unwanted objects in an image using Photoshop and then I'm going to just crop it and generally tidy up the whole photo. Now if you look at this shot here, I was actually down at Radipole Lake in Dorset uh, photographing some seagulls kind of battling and fighting and things and obviously I had my camera set to quite a high shutter speed so I knew I'd be ready for action as I turned round and the EXIF data on this shot is, let me have a look I was at a thousandth of a second at f9 on uh, ISO 200 so obviously I was prepared for the action but obviously you can't always zoom in or get closer to the action as it's happening so with this shot I literally heard what was going on, turned round, fired off a few frames and ended up quite liking this one, it shows the kind of battle really full on in action but obviously there's elements to the shot that I don't really want to keep in I want to be able to zoom in on this and and basically just focus on maybe these two birds and possibly this one as well as it's kind of getting out of the way it's obviously a younger seagull now the first thing I would do would be to straighten the image possibly just to because it's what I do um, I'm a bit of a stickler for, for non wonky shots but um, obviously it doesn't matter too much but to do that, first of all, I'm just going to select the whole image. You can either do Control A to get the running ants, or select the marquee tool up here, the rectangular marquee tool, and just drag around the whole of the shot. And then I'm going to press Control T, and that brings up the, the same as going to Edit and Free Transform. So we're going to do that, and then I'm going to just do Control and Speech Mark to bring up a grid, just so I've got some reference for the shot. Let's make this full screen and then I'm just going to drag around until we get to somewhere around there which is about straight going by this line at the top here now it doesn't matter what the background colour is I've, I've just got yellow there from something else I was doing so I'm just going to click that get rid of the lines afterwards get rid of the grid again by doing control speech mark and then I'm going to hit anywhere on the outside using the marquee tool to get rid of the running ants now I'm going to select the crop tool and I want to crop where I want the, the most of the shot to be. I want to keep some of these reeds in up here so I'm going to start up there keeping this bird on the left in and I also want to keep in that bit of splashing on the right so I want to keep in this here, this bird, these two, nice bit of detail from the hanging tree there, the reeds in the river so that is generally the kind of shot I want. Let's bring this in a little bit so I try and keep the distance between the edge of this bird to the edge of the photo and the edge of this bird to the photo. Now at the moment I don't have any aspect ratio to the shot, I'm just cropping it freehand. But obviously if you wanted to print it you'd have it as a maybe a 3 by 2 or a 16 by 9 aspect ratio, it's up to you. But I'm just cropping this freehand at the moment just for the purposes of this tutorial. So if I now, you can either double click inside the area or just press the tick and that will now crop the shot. Now some people may want to keep these two birds in down here, other people may want to get rid of them. I'm just going to get rid of them again for the purposes of this tutorial because I think all the focus should be on these three birds here. And If we go to 100% you can see it's pretty sharp so the thousandth of a second has actually captured that quite nicely. And You can see there in the, in the, the main seagull's beak he's got the piece of bread. This guy was obviously after it and this one was obviously getting out of the way of the trouble. Now I want to get rid of these two birds here. Now there's a couple of ways of doing this um, in most photoshops in the older versions of photoshop you can use the clone tool so if we select the clone tool here and I need to select the brush to a size that's going to work that's maybe a bit too big somewhere around here I want to make it so that these two birds appear as though they were never in the shot now the best way to do that is obviously select some area of water nearby that is similar to what they're actually on but we need to lose the reflections and everything so first of all I'm going to select up here by using ALT if I click ALT that will bring up a target and then left click the mouse to select that area of the water and then release the ALT key and then go over and as I go over the bird you can see it's, it's showing me what's going to appear in that area now I've got a, a brush at the moment that's way too harsh so I'm going to change the brush to a soft edged brush keep about the same size and now when I do the same you can see it's a much softer kind of look to it we've got an opacity of 100% flow of 100% so I'm going to start here and then just come 
over to the this part of the bird's head and just clone that away hopefully keeping the background looking fairly similar okay so that's the first part of the head gone it doesn't look too bad and now when we get down here we need this splash to be still in the shot so I'm going to start from over here and then bring this over and just clone it in and then take some from here so again I'm alt left click selecting that bit just coming over a touch and you just keep doing this all around the bird in little bits and pieces here and there just so it doesn't look obvious that you've done it you can see here if we zoom in that that bit there looks very similar to that bit there so obviously that's not going to look too good so if I clone somewhere else and just put that in instead you can see now it's it's made it look a bit a bit more realistic and there's no reflection from the bird there so if it, there's a little bit so it won't matter too much if I bring some of that over and just start painting that in but anything past here we haven't got the reflection of the bird so that's got to stay slightly darker water behind so what I need now is an area of water where there's no white bird so let's take this bit of water here which looks fairly similar to that so if I take that bit of the water bearing in mind we've got the focused the depth of field and everything and just start cloning that over you can see it's starting to look okay and we just keep going all the way down to about there obviously that bird in front there wouldn't have a reflection so let's do it to about there keep going across that doesn't look bad at all now I'm going to get to a point here where I'm going to start bringing in the white again so you can see there it goes from lighter to darker so if I choose a similar area alt right click from this area and then just bring it over like so and then just clone down I'm hoping it's going to look alright now I've reached the edge I've reached the limit there so I need to start again take a selection from there and then just bring it over like that until we've pretty much cleaned up most of that now that doesn't look too bad at the moment we've got a bit of a line there obviously where it uh, hasn't merged properly and we've got this little bit here so let's deal with this first if I just take an area here come across so we get the bottom bit first all I've got to do now is just select any area of splashing water and just fill that in like so and we've again got two bits there that look very similar so I'm just gonna alt left click and then quickly click there and that's gone now this bit here looks a bit smudged so again I'm gonna take an area of light splashing say around here and then just do a quick click to get that looking better and then same there and I think we've done a pretty good job there um, let's have a look doesn't look too bad at all so what I'm gonna do now just to get rid of this area is to use the healing brush this blends thing a bit uh, blends things a bit better so obviously you don't get such harsh lines so I'm going to select the healing brush tool I need a slightly bigger brush somewhere around there would do and then I'm just going to take an area such as this and select that and then just go over that area and hopefully it will blend in all the different colors a bit like that that's not too bad uh, let's just go back control alt and Z to go back to where you were before so you don't keep that I'm going to do it from a different area see if that blends a bit nicer not too bad don't like that so let's go back again it's going to keep finding an area until I get one that works a bit better it's gone a bit dark down the bottom so let's just help with that do the same again that's too dark at the bottom so I'm going to go all the way back again and then select a lighter area and then just go over that I think that's not too bad at all so you can see there we've actually got rid of completely those the birds from the from the shot and I think that if anyone was looking at that they wouldn't know that the birds were ever there unless you really really scrutinized it obviously well I think it's pretty good actually um, obviously you can do take a lot more time over it but that's a general way of, of getting rid of those bits in the shot now there are a couple of other things in the shot that I would get rid of that my eyes completely drawn to straight away and that's a tiny area of brightness here so again I'm still on the healing brush so alt an area here click and then just zap over that just to tidy that up it's it's not really cheating it's just drawing the eyes more towards the birds and obviously this dot here is is kind of a bit of a pain so I'm gonna select an area of water there 
just go over that just to get rid of that completely maybe this bit here I want to clean up the shot as much as possible so that the eye is drawn to the birds and nothing else and you can see there that's now the finished shot that's pretty good I think so we've we've got rid of all the distractions we've just got the three main birds in the shot we've cropped it in straightened it and I think that's looking pretty good now there is another way of doing it that can sometimes be a lot quicker but it doesn't always work very well but if you've got Photoshop CS5 or CS6 or any later versions then you've got something called content aware now I'll quickly show you how that works but I'm just gonna save this first and then come back okay so now what we've got here is we're back to the original photo and you can see we've we've gone right back so we've um, uncropped it and it's, it's wonky again and everything now the tool that we're talking about is called the um, the content aware tool from Photoshop CS5 and 6 a fantastic tool and in most situations it works really well and what it does is once you've selected an area it will actually work out what's surrounding that area and try and fill the gap as much as possible so if I try and explain this a bit better with this with this uh, duck here if I select the area that I want to delete and that includes the shadow here so if I was to take the shadow like this just select as much as possible um, if you need to select more after you've made a selection you can press shift to add so I can then add more to the selection and you can do alt which brings up the minus symbol to kind of just get rid of some of the selection like so um, so I've got that bit there and now I'm going to select the duck itself all the dark areas here so if we select the duck and you, if you get as close to the object you're trying to get rid of as possible it works a lot better now obviously I'm not as close as I'd like to here I could use the pen and paths tool to get super close but this is just a quick illustration so now we've selected the duck and his reflection there all you need to do is press delete and you bring up this dialog box and you can either use foreground color background color content aware pattern history blah 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 we're just going to select content aware and click OK and let the Photoshop do its magic and there we go it's done a pretty good job you can just about see the outline of the duck now that doesn't always happen in in uh, using the content aware at all but I think you'll agree that's not too bad at all the way to tidy it up would be maybe to select the healing brush tool and then just select areas around the outside just to kind of lose the shape of the duck I mean most people wouldn't know that there was anything there it just looks like the reflections of the water so if we just do a couple of bits and pieces there you can kind of see that that is pretty much gone and that's how quick it is and we just appeared then that's how quick it is to actually use the content aware tool and obviously you can use it for everything else in the shot so if we want these more hens to go we can just make a really quick selection of all the objects that we want to go just do it again just again trying to make sure you keep as close to the object as possible and this feature is so intuitive that it will I've known it to add in fence shapes and everything behind the actual objects it's, it's quite amazing uh, so I've got those and I also want to get rid of the reflections here because obviously they wouldn't be there without the birds so if we just add those in let's try that for now let's just see if that works I'm actually going to feather this one see if it makes a difference feather it by 20 pixels and then delete content aware OK and let it do its thing obviously the more detail in the shot the, the, the that's not as good let's go back now let's not have that feathered so if we try that again delete and here we've got the opacity at 92% only I didn't have it at 100% so if we change that to 100% click OK they should vanish hopefully like so and to be honest that's not bad at all I think we've pretty much got rid of them there's just these bits here that I'd maybe again use the healing brush just to get rid of those and you can see here the, the reflections where the more hens were so if we can just bring some detail from elsewhere using the healing brush again just to get rid of those it looks as though they were never there and it's a very very quick way of getting rid of objects in Photoshop um, now again these these are a bit closer to some of the action so it may not work as well but let's just try it with these birds here if I select you can either use the um, any of the tools there like I say you can use the pen and paths tool to actually get really close to the action uh, get really close to the bird 
that really would make a, a lot of difference but I'm just again going to use the lasso tool to try and get as close as possible to the bird just by free drawing freehand let's just try and get as close as we can the reason you get as close as you can is because you want to keep the detail surrounding the bird in as much as possible and what Photoshop will then do using content aware is look at the content around the object you're getting rid of and do its best to work out what needs to fill the gap after the bird or after the object has actually left the photo and it will try and obviously recreate what it sees around the outside of the bird I'm going to go down here just the reflection to there I'm not going to do all the reflection just for now so we've got as close as possible like I said if you want to fill in the gaps you can use the alt key to get rid of the selection or the plus key using shift and left click to get a bit closer if you want to add some to the selection like so I'll oh, use the wrong one I need to do minus so if we go in closer to the bird there using the alt key and maybe a bit closer here no, I don't like that let's keep it to about there and we need to just have that a bit further out now we're still on feathering here at 20 pixels so I'm going to change that to 5 and we should be able to get a bit closer use the minus key again it won't feather it as much each time so I should be able to go right into this gap here like so and then also we've well, we've got the reflection there so we're going to keep that maybe just going to about there let's just see what that does so we've selected fairly close to the birds there and we're going to click delete content aware at 100% opacity click OK see what it does may not be as good as what we've just done with the cloning tool but uh, yeah it's not as good there obviously it's it's not we've got the um, the feathering too much so I'm going to actually change the feathering to 0.2 let's see what that does yeah it's not working as well for those I'm gonna go right back to the beginning and and just do that again with not not percent or not pixels feathered let's just do a really quick selection I'm not as close as I'd like but again I just want to show you how this works go to about there no feathering just delete content aware that's much better without the feathering so it's worked a little bit better but obviously we still got those reflections here so let's now do those because obviously there'll be no reflections without the bird let's just see what that does content aware delete hopefully that'll bring in the outside which it has done it's got rid of the white reflections um, all we need to do now is really kind of just clone this over so let's choose the healing brush and just bring some of this water over to make it look a bit more natural like its surroundings let's see what that does it's not too bad we can select some of this splashing water here just bring that over hopefully that'll work that's not worked too badly it, it's yeah that's not bad at all actually it's worked quite well um, we, obviously these bits of white here again we can select here the using the healing brush and just get rid of those kind of white bits of the water that's not bad at all we've got rid of quite a lot out of that shot and again once we've cropped it and trimmed it and everything I don't think people would really ever know that there were other birds there but if we revert that back you can see what else was in the shot originally that we got rid of so you can see it hasn't done a bad too bad a job and that's just using the the um, content aware tool in Photoshop CS5 and 6 you can see it's very quick very easy to use very straightforward and it does a fantastic job of getting rid of it so I hope that helps with um, you know erasing unwanted objects in uh, in images using Photoshop either using the, the clone tool the healing brush and content aware we'll have a quick look at um, Photoshop elements in the video just below this one so I hope that helps and uh, we'll see you on the next video